on this week, uh, Ed Gillespie said that he, um, he seemed to take pride that the Bush administration didn't make any major policy changes on GM and allowed the Obama uh, administration to inherit um, and able to make their own decisions. And you seem frustrated with the delay. Is the delay, is your frustration with Bush or Obama or both? Uh, I indicated at the time that, that uh, the auto executives came to Washington asking for, a, for bailout money that I thought it was a mistake to provide bailout money then. Uh, and so the first mistake was made under the Bush administration, um, and uh, that I think was uh, uh, indicative of a policy of continuing to write large checks to General Motors and, and to Chrysler uh, before a structured uh, bankruptcy had been worked out. And I indicated that at the time. So I'm not, uh, I'm not pointing the finger at, at only one uh, president, but, but at the administration policies of both. This is, and frankly, uh, the, the Detroit should not have uh, waited until the moment that it was in desperate need of cash to come to Washington. It should have been aware of this issue some time ago and taken measures uh, either in a prepackaged bankruptcy that did not have to go through the court or in one that did go through the court. This should have been done some time ago. It would have saved the American taxpayer billions upon billions of dollars uh, and, and let the management and the board and, if you will, to a certain degree, shareholders and secured creditors uh, have the uh, the ability to, to guide the process rather than having the government do that. And I, and I noted also yesterday, for those that are not aware of it, that, that in my view, government owning and managing General Motors is the wrong, uh, wrong way for, for this company to, to grow and succeed again, uh, that the shares that the government has, in my view, should be immediately distributed to the taxpayers uh, of the United States of America. Uh, and, and the extent to which shares that are held by the UAW could be distributed to the UAW members rather than voted by uh, UAW, uh, the UAW CEO, that in my view would, uh, would also make sense. Let's get these shares in the hands of the public and let these companies be run uh, for the purpose of generating profits and jobs and growth and stability rather than uh, having political uh, purposes. As you can imagine, uh, uh, when you have an administration that received extraordinary support from organized labor, uh, calling the shots at a corporation, the decisions about which plants to close are going to be influenced by uh, which senators from which state, um, where, where the UAW is, uh, is going to be most concerned, is going to have a, an influence on an administration that's, uh, uh, that's in a ma majority position at GM. Th these kinds of, uh, of concerns are real, and that's why I think the American public uh, deserves to have those shares. And of course, not everybody's going to hold on to them. People will sell them and buy them and group them together. And, and be able to uh, see the company be more successful. By the way, people might be more inclined to buy GM products if they owned GM shares. Uh, so uh, I think that's the right, uh, the right course for, uh, for this company.